everyone. Today we're going to be drawing a cat and I hope that you like this video and then we'll start right now. So first off you start with a circle like let's see here um it's about that big. Next, what we'll be doing is do a little circle right here, and one right here, and then just have it be like line, line, just like that, super simple. Next, what we'll be doing is the mouth, or closely to the mouth, and then have it be like this. And then next, we'll just have it be like that. Or just go like that if you want it to be a little more simpler. Them there. We'll cut that out a little more. Next, what we'll be doing is the eyes. There's one eye. Next, what we'll be doing, you start like, let's see here, right here, go up to this little circle, down, and then there. Now you can erase this line right here. And then what we'll be doing, we'll start from like up here, curve, and then have it curve down like that. And then we'll be doing the same for the other side. So make it look like it's a little bit more to the side. So have it be like a little smaller. Okay, so it just kind of looks like Basic, simple, you know. There we go. Okay, next what we'll be doing is the hair, or if you, this can be, um, you, can, you do not have to do this. It just, it's just for fun. So what we'll do is that, go like that, just make it like a little tiny wave, have it be partly out, have it be like little tiny hairs, and then out, and back in, out, back in, out. This time have it be like a little wave. Out, back in, out, back in, and then connect it to the ear. There we go. And have it be connected like that. And so next, if um, this is the hair in the ear. So next we'll go like this. Have it be like another way, just like the hair. And then do a little either uh, spike or loop. I'll do a loop so you know how it looks. And then next we'll be doing the other. There we go. So you can just add like little tiny hairs. And we'll be doing the same for the other side. There we go. So that's your next part. Next, we'll be starting with the neck. Have it be connected like that. Next, this can be a little like that. And have it be like just a little hair for the chest. Have it connect all the way from up here down to there. That's like that. And then next, we will be drawing the spot, the spot where it's sitting, with its little bum. That will be like right here. So make just like a basic, simple circle right there. Have it be connected. Have it be like a little ditch like this. 
as you can see right there, just like that. Okay, and then next we'll be doing the tail circle. So it will go right here. It's gonna be like tucked in, just comfy, happy. Next, we will have the tail be connected. So from that circle, down like that. I'll give you a little while so you can draw this. Okay, so um, if you're not done, just stop right here and watch, please. Next, for the paw, we'll have a little circle down here and then another, this probably just won't look right that big. And then have one be like that big. Those are tiny. I can go bigger. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Then for the hip paw, we'll have it be like right here. The other one will be like right there. Connect those, paw connect these ones. That one does not go in all the way because it's part of the stomach right here. So just leave it, oops, leave it like that. Okay, I'll give you a little more time. Okay, I'm just gonna get a little tip for the tail, like that. Super easy, super simple. Gotta keep the line. Okay, next part. You have a straw circle right here. This is the shoulder of the cat for this little paw right here. And then have it be connected to right there. Let's draw the chest real quick. And the stomach. It's gonna go like that so that we know where this one should go. And then this one will just be for the back. Just connect it to the circle. Okay, next what we do is that we have this, put it in just like that and then we go down here. Now here's a little tricky part. If you want to do, if you are just starting on drawing, you can go like this, and then that. Or if you're like a little bit more expert, like what I'm gonna do, you can do this. Have it be like circle, and then connect it, have it like be like a little spot right there. And then just have it be like that. And add the two lines. Erase the circle bit. And there is part of your first paw. And then we'll connect it right there. Now this is also a little tricky. You go like this. You can either have it be outside or normal or stay inside and then have it be connected like that. You can you have to have you have to have an open space right here so you can you know where the shoulder or the paw begins. And do the same for the other side of the paw. Now, if you want um, it to look more like the, this paw is facing that way, not this way, you can go like this. If you, are, if you want to be a little bit more expertise, you can go like that. Super simple. And then, um, next part. Erase this bit right there. Do not erase this one, because this is the other side of the shoulder. Okay, next part. This is also a little tricky. Do a giant, like not super big, but do a circle right there. Have it connect to both sides of this basic circle right here. I have it pointy. And then what we do next, connect it to right there. Have this be like out a little bit more. And then connect it to 
right that like that. And then we just go like that. We're making it look like it's sitting. So yeah. Where's that bit? If you want to be easier with this pop and know where you want your like line these to be, you can go like this on where you want the line the paw lines to be. So you can go like that, put it right at the edge, and then right there. And then you just erase it. Let's connect that piece, so just put it right there, like that. Or, if you want to be a little bit better, you can go like this. Have it be like swirled in like that. And then just do the same for the other side of the paw. Next, what we'll do is we start from this little spot right here, and then we'll just curve around, just curve like that. It's easier if you go, if you're like, maybe if you're righty, you can do that and it'll be easier. But you can just do whatever you want. And what I'm doing is I'm having like two little points at the end, so it makes it look like it's fluffy. Now, if you do not want to do it like this and not have these paws here, you can just do it like, so here's the body, like that, pause, pause, pause. You can have it be like this, or like this. And then there's the head. But I'm just gonna go with this and make it look like it's comfortable and just probably like cover the paws. I never, never even noticed you had to cover the paws. Whoopsie. But yeah, so there you go. Looks comfy. All right, now let's get back to the head since we're already almost done with the body. Or basically done. So next, if you wanna be like beginner, you can just do a circle and then a little eye. But if you want to be better, you can just go like this, have it be like a small rainbow down a little bit, and then like curve like that. Have it be like a little bit darker right there. And have it be like that and that. Now, this next part is a little bit tricky. You need to lightly put it, color it in, and then you can have it be like little tiny rainbow right there, and then little circle right there. And then you can also do this. Also have it be like little lumped out like that. And then have it be like this, if you want it to look a little better and look a little more 3D. So I'm just going to do that. So it looks better. And then add the little tiny smile. Okay, next, if you want, you can do Sharpie. I'm mega Sharpie. Oh! And, but you don't have to do um, Sharpies. If you want, you can just make it look like a little bit more realistic and you don't have to do a Sharpie. So I'll do Sharpie so you know what where to paint. So now, if you do not want to do Sharpie, just like chill around and wait, and I'll get you the next part once I'm done with this.